Welcome to DOD Family Man in the Philippines. Please subscribe, click the like button. Leave Welcome, Family Man in the Philippines. Welcome to Dino's Kitchen. Yes, we're cooking a recipe today. Uh, we're wanting to make sticky rice, so I found a sticky rice recipe. And it calls for, of course, rice, glutinous rice. And the rice that we got is called pillet rice. So here's our rice and it calls for two cups of coconut milk, Coco Mama, and the package just says, this is the larger package, it says that this is uh, two coconuts and that's what the recipe says. So we need uh, coconut milk for two coconuts and two cups of rice. So we're going to start this procedure. Yes, this is the foreigner making sticky rice in the Philippines. The recipe says to cook two cups of rice with three and a half cups of coconut milk. So the next thing we're going to do is measure all our coconut milk. The recipe actually shows the ingredients of three and a half cups of coconut milk. That's a lot of coconut milk. Anyways, so. It also says to hold three quarters of a cup back. Don't you say three quarters of a cup of coconut milk for your topping, because this has a caramel topping we're gonna to put on it. So we have to reserve three quarters of a cup of Coco Mama, and the rest of it we dilute with water to make three and a half cups of liquid the rice to cook in. Here's our three quarters of a cup of coconut milk. This is actually what's called coconut cream, so it's kind of condensed. And then here's our three and a half cups of solution of uh, coconut cream and water with our two cups of rice. In the pan, we're going to attempt to use a rice cooker to cook the rice. Instead of standing there and having to stir it, until it's done. What I want to do is I'm going to stir the stick pillet rice with the coconut cream. Make sure it gets stirred in a little bit so it's not clumpy inside of there right now. So we may not all get cooked. Uh, it looks like that's pretty well separated. Close down the rice cooker, plug it in, and press the lever. Cook it. And we'll come back and check this in about come back and check this in about 12 minutes. So recipe says one eight pound of butter. The rice finished cooking. I scraped it out of the pan that was in the rice cooker. And the recipe says put one cup of brown sugar and one eighth pound of butter. So now we're gonna and stir. So we're gonna do our stirring. So I'll put the phone down. Now I like to make things basically kind of my own recipe. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon of cinnamon. And I'm thinking two tablespoons of honey. That'll make it a little bit sweeter. Now we have our sticky rice. It looks brown because I put the tablespoon of cinnamon in there. As you can see, it's pretty sticky. Now we put this in a pan. And then make now we have the sticky rice transferred from the big blue bowl that I was stirring it in into looks like about a nine inch aluminum pie pan. And now it looks like sticky rice and time to make the caramel topping. This is our other three ingredients for making the latik, or latik, however it's pronounced, basically the caramel topping for the top of the sticky rice. So it calls for 15 ounces of condensed milk. We don't have that, so we're going to use low fat anchor brand milk, two cups. And then the rest of the coconut milk, or coconut cream, and two or three tablespoons of flour. We'll do it with the flour, we'll take our two tablespoons of flour, 
we'll put it in our coconut milk and make sure it's stirred up well. We'll put our low fat milk into a pan. There's our two cups of milk in a pan. Now we're gonna take our flour. We'll mix the flour with the coconut cream. Get it stirred up good, make a slurry out of it so it's thin and it gets introduced into the warm milk easily without having any clogs in it. Full spoons of flour are mixed in with our coconut cream. Before you pour it in, Start stirring in the pan. You want to make sure it's you stir real good before you pour it in there so it doesn't clump up. So now the milk is warming up in the pan here. It's kind of warm so we can start pouring this in. And then we'll cook that until it thickens and then we can pour that over the top of our sticky rice, our latte. So there's our logic which is basically gravy made with coconut cream and milk. Of course, I can't leave it alone. I added about a quarter of a cup of brown sugar and one tablespoon of vanilla. You add the vanilla at the, after you turn it off so it doesn't burn the vanilla flavor out. Pour this on top of our sticky. Hopefully we don't make too much of a mess. Here it goes. Nice and thick. And hopefully when it cools down, spread nice and even across the top. And hopefully, when that cools down, it will set and turn it a little firm. So, that's it. That's the uh, Dino G kitchen today. What's cooking is sticky cake by a foreigner, the, U the American, with uh, making an online recipe into his own. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe, click the like button, leave a comment. Have a great day.